Hello, my dear friend. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about six different types of weekly layouts in Bullet Journal. And for each type, I'll also show you 2 to 4 spread design with some examples from my previous Bujo setup. Now let's get started. The first one is really typical horizontal style, which means that each day takes up its own horizontal role. I usually also have one more section besides Monday to Sunday as note and calendar, so there will be eight sections. There are many ways to customize it. The first design sample I want to show you is adding drawings or decorations on the edges of two sides. Here on this page, I have seven donuts to represent Monday to Sunday, and each section is eight dots high if you're also using an A5 notebook. On the extra section, I have week number, calendar with current week highlighted and note. In this case, the drawings I add on two sides are part of each day. I also apply this layout in my Mulan theme setup but with bigger drawings and less space for tasks. And for this format, you have more freedom to draw whatever you want on the sides. An alternative is to switch the location of decorations and words, moving the drawings to the middle of this page. I actually used a lot, like this botanic theme spread. Here I have one more day in this week, so I moved the note to the bottom of this page. Another example is this travel theme spread. I went to New York City in this February, so I decided to draw some landmarks from New York as part of memory. The drawings take about half of the whole page, but also leave enough space for writing tasks. Then, same method, your drawing could be also on the bottom of the page while the tasks are pushed up a little bit. Like this spread, the space left for tasks are relatively shorter, but you can also separate into three columns like here, which is enough for writing down a long to-do list. If you need more space for writing things but also want some decorations at the same time, here I have another design for you, where this door dash door comes in. You can use the whole spread for tasks including the back of the middle pages. Here I use it for my monthly summary and next month goal since this is the last week of that month. Speaking of dash door, I usually use this design when it comes to two weeks combined, especially if you want to share notes or decorations for both weeks. In my case, on the back of this dash door, I used it as a packing list, so for the rest I have space for 9 days, but if you use all the space, it could go up to 12 days or more. I also have another dash door design which applies to all weeks, so here I just simply make some decorations on the beginning and ending page, and then cut away for every single week. It works very well when you want to see some important notes, to-do list, or quote for every week in this month. Okay, now we come to the second type, vertical style, which means that each day is gonna get its own column. This layout design is good for some of you who usually have a long task list. You could also divide it into two sections for either works versus personal or events versus tasks. Here I have this donut theme again as an example. The only problem for me is that if I use Monday to Sunday, maybe plus note, then each column is kind of too narrow. So sometimes I also combine Sunday and Saturday when I know there's not much going on during that weekend. Then I just need to divide the spread into six sections, three on each page. Or I use it on the week where there are not all seven days, for example here I have five days in this week. This layout also gives me more freedom to draw things either on top or bottom of this page. There is also a way to apply it with Dutch door. I just tried out this top half cutting away vertical style weekly spread recently. Same concept, but one thing you need to pay attention is that when you cut the page, be careful and don't do it all the way to the bending area. Otherwise, you end up like my case here, the other side page is falling off and can only be saved by tipping around. I usually do one week per spread, but a few months ago, I also tried two weeks on one page, so I'm going to quickly show you here. 
I also add a time bar in to kind of track how much time I spend or I plan to spend on each task. On the side, I also made a small planner slash tracker. I don't have many events going on, so I used it as my video creating planner, which I don't use anymore because I migrate to my monthly view. After vertical style, here we come to the next one, which I call a box layout. Here I have three designs under this category. The first one is very simple and efficient. So basically, the whole spread is divided into two rows and four columns. For A5 notebook, each box is 12 by 17 dots if the number helps. In the extra one, I usually use it as note and calendar highlighter, but you can also add some drawings or decorations here. Then for each box, I add some drawings like here, I put a cat in each box corner. And another one here, I just simply draw a donut for each day. When it comes to two ways combined, you can also adjust it to three rows and four columns. Then it can serve up to 12 days, but usually I use it when there are 8 to 10 days so I can have some space left for notes and drawings. For example, I use this layout in the whole August Bujo setup this year. Each box is 12 by 12 with one dot gap. In another case, in order to have some space for drawing plants, I change the gap to two dots, then each box becomes 10 by 10. But if you want to fit in more, it could also be squeezed to four rows and four columns. In this example, I actually did 4 by 3 to leave the right side for cat drawing. But if you use all the space, you can get 16 boxes. Besides the previous Kamlin Scene 3, I also want to introduce the center layout, which means that there will be a main drawing in the center and days around it. I used it in this spread because it just feels perfect to have a circle donut in the center. Another example is this Mulan cutting hair scene, which I love a lot. Oh, here on the day April 11th, I got my first 100 subscriber on my YouTube, which is like half a year ago. No matter you are the first 100 or new friends, thank you so much for supporting me and this channel. I really appreciate it. So yeah, here I have a few more examples from the ocean theme setup, where I pretty much apply this layout on all weekly spreads. There is another type, I don't really have a name for it, but more like freestyle. In the example here, I distributed dates randomly and leave some space on the right side for decoration. Another case is this kitty on the right down corner. Because this layout is more free, you can adjust the space for each day based on your own schedule. For the last type I want to talk about, it doesn't have a specific format where you can bring any design that fit the current month theme. Like here, I was doing a travel theme, so parallel photos are perfect for this page. And during Christmas season, I have sticky notes here and there for gift picking or shopping list, so I decided to also bring this element in my bullet journal. So yeah, that's all the layout designs I want to share with you today. Based on how you usually write down to-do list, you can go ahead and pick the one that works the best for you. As for the elements in each spread, my examples are similar because I've been using Monday to Sunday with note and a calendar, plus some drawings in most cases. This is just my personal preference. If you also like to add weekly habit tracker or meal plan, you can do some adjustment based on the six types I mentioned and you're very welcome to leave comments and let me know how you use your weekly spreads. I also want to give a special thanks to my Patreon members who voted this topic for this video. In my Patreon community, you can find digital version of all my Pujo setup prints out wallpapers for each month's theme and more bonus content, as well as the voting chance for my future video topic. I hope this video is helpful or inspiring for you. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to turn on the bell. Thank you for watching. I'll see you very soon in my next video.